All right, here we got another little addition on a house here. This is going to be a bathroom, first floor, floor bathroom. There's going to be a, a breakthrough right there. I disassembled this deck several weeks ago to make room for foundation work. Now it's in. It's about 7, you know, 13 by 7, I think. Our first thing would be uh, getting this sill gasket down and the plates. I need to do a little bit of work around uh, the ends here so the plates butt in okay and uh, we'll get that going and go from there okay my very first plate going right here so I popped a line on it I'm gonna cut it to give me a nice straight edge to be the outside of my block that side and look at that one so that will be the outside on the block All right, there we go. Thankfully, the masons actually left me about an inch and a half a bolt, which is what I like. I don't have my impact with me. I got pulled out of my truck at home for some reason, and I don't have it with me. So I'm going to do this one the old-fashioned way. Alright, this one's on. Get this one next. Let's start figuring out my band board. That door is going to have to come out. Now I got the aluminum off so I can get my band joists on. Actually, I got the aluminum off and then the cedar where it was uh, redwood, actually, I think that was underneath it. Just enough to get the floor on. The rest of the demo will be done after the floor's on so it doesn't all fall in the crawl space. I had to cut away the trim on the sides of the door so I can run the band joist past. Now, I check this for square. Layout all comes off of this corner. Pythagorean's theorem. You go from this corner, you pull six feet, put a mark. I got a nail there to hook my tape on. Eight feet this way, put a mark. Square should be. Ten between. Put the tape. We are about a quarter off from square. That's not that bad. This isn't a very big addition, so it's not going to throw me off too bad. Next thing is to lay out my plates. Joists are running this way. There's going to be a shower there and a tub, or excuse me, a shower there, toilet here, so I want to make sure that my joists land where all the drains can go without interfering. So I have to get that laid out. Get my Once I get my layout done, I can get my band joist on, lag that to the house, and all the joists going that way will have to have hangers on them. So that'll be next.
we're level from there to there, and we're level from there to there. Thanks to the Stabila 10 foot level, things really nice. You should get one. Okay. Alright, I dropped my ledger board in, had to go over the. Oh, what do you call this thing? Spigot? Silcock? Um, I don't have access to the inside, and I don't know if there's a valve on that, so I could turn the water line off anyway, so I went around it. Got my layout, 15, well, 16 on center, 15 and a quarter from the outside would be the edge, so we're 16 on center. Got my joist hangers pre-installed using the gun. This, uh, the door's gonna come out and actually below will be the crawl space access and then this will be all framed in later. I nailed it in with ring shank spikes, but now I'm gonna go through and put specs lag bolts in to hold it. Okay, I've got all my joists here. Um, they were all pretty good in measurement, but because this kind of goes in and out on the house, I had to custom cut them. But what I did was came in an inch and a half at each end, popped a line. This will be where my box goes. So now I just pull measurements to the line. Mass produced them all. They're sitting here to be filed in from the house out. Uh, Got two guns going, got my hanger gun and my nail gun. This will get galvanized nails out here because this is treated. I tend to use all galvanized on the on the plate and on the box, anything that's exterior, even though it will be covered with siding. I'll get this band up against the house nailed in, lag bolted in, start running these. I cut a couple of these down. And I'm going to have to notch my joists to go around them, so let's get rolling. <laughs> 